Okay, well, here it is. <laughs> At last I've made my decision. Thank you to everyone on my Patreon who has been helping me to make this decision. I've been uploading sheets of paper to them with all my mind maps and my thoughts and my comparisons between different cameras. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my last video and don't know what I'm talking about, um, I've been uh, trying to work out which camera to get to back up my X-T4. I sold my X-T3s a while ago, I bought an X-T4, um, and I was just thinking, you know what, I should probably get another one, another something to back up my X-T4. And initially I was thinking I should get something which would be supportive for me for um, video as well as stills. So I began to think down, should I get the X-H1? Should I get the SC10, that new one? Um, and I they both got IBIS obviously, but the X-H1's got the X-Trans 3 sensor, whereas the other camera's got the X-Trans 4. And so I began to kind of think down those lines and my whole last video was about that. Well, after that, I started to do a bit more digging around and thinking, you know what? Do I really want a camera which is emphasized towards video when primarily I'm a stills shooter? Obviously, I'm shooting some video now and I do shoot videos for my clients, but I've got the X-T4 and the X-T4 has got the IBIS in it. It's got the latest autofocus. It's got Fujifilm's best, obviously the best sensor. It's got the, um, you know, all the best the Turner and F-Log and it basically Fujifilm's X-T4 is a complete video camera as well as a complete stills camera. So I started thinking, you know what? Actually, why am I focusing so much on video when I've got that in my X-T4 anyway? I don't need IBIS. I don't need all that in my next camera. I want it to be smaller. I want it to be more, um, you know, a bit more kind of still looking beautiful and retro. So I thought, you know what, forget the X-S10 because I don't really like that extra bit on it and I just don't really warm to that camera. I'm sure it's amazing and the, the reviews are brilliant, but I didn't really want to own it. So I thought, okay, forget that. X-H1's got the X-Trans 3 sensor in it. And I think, you know what, I kind of need a camera that's got the same sensor as the X-T4 because it makes sense for my, um, my shoots. So I started looking at other cameras and I thought about the X-E4 because obviously I've had that in the past, the relatively recent past, but you know, that went wrong. And I just thought, I don't really, um, want to get another one of those. So what am I going to do? Anyway, my Patreon are amazing because they were like uh, helping me and asking me questions and looking at all my stuff. So do come and join my Patreon if you're not on it because it's a fun place to be. And uh, anyway, so in the end, what I did was I went for something which I have thought about for, well, I've, tr I've tried a previous two generations ago of this camera and reviewed it and loved it. And uh, I thought, why didn't I think about this before? So I got my new camera is a brand new Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II. Now this has only just come out. Now, some people are saying, you know, why don't you get the X-T30 Mark I? Well, there's actually quite a few, um, quite a few things in this, in the upgrade, which people don't realize, um, such as, obviously it's got new film simulations, it's got a faster engine, which is what it needs. It's got um, more buffering, which is better. Um, it's got, I've written some things down. It's got the new 1.62 million dot LCD. It's got the, oh um, uh, yeah, the really good, um, better for low light. So the last one I think was minus E, minus three EV, and this one's minus seven, so better for low light. So all around commercially, there's a whole list of stuff, which are, when I do my first impression, I, I will kind of show and talk about. But anyway, here it is, and it's the brand new X-T30 Mark II. There's my stuff. Let's have a look and see what's in here. Anyway, I'm very excited about this because actually, when I tried the, oh, sorry, but look at it. I'm so glad I bought this. This is absolutely, oh my goodness, it's lovely. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Well, um, if I wasn't happy before, I am delighted now. The reason why, I didn't go with the X-E4 because there's a lot of spec in this, which is in the X-E4. But the thing is, 
I really want this bit still. And they take, they've taken that off the XE4. And I really like having the um, focus, the, uh, you know, the manual focus, continuous and single point focus on the front. I just rely on that so much. And uh, this is really lovely. Okay, so there's a, a view of it there. I think the only way you know it's the Mark II is that here it's got the, um, it says Mark II on it. Whereas at the front, it just says X-T30. But I tried, the, I reviewed the X-T10 and I absolutely loved it. Really loved it. And yes, I am delighted with this. You see, I wasn't bothered with IBIS in the end because this has still got um, 4K um, 30 in it. You, it's, they've improved the, from the X-T30 Mark I, which was 100 and, 20 fps i think they've improved it to 240 which gives you 10 times slow motion in hd um, and so it's got 8 bit inside and you can do obviously external 10 bit so it's got everything i need for video apart from ibis but i will use this on a tripod and i'll use the xt4 in my hand i can't hold two cameras at once and <laughs> so i don't need two cameras with ibis one of them can be on a tripod one of them will be in my hand so it just made sense for me i think why am i getting a a camera that's got all those extra bits in it when what I really want is a beautiful stills camera. And I just couldn't leave that retro Fujifilm look. I, you know, I almost clicked over the SX, SX10, SC10, can't even say it. And I just, I couldn't do it. I was like, you know what? I can't leave this beautiful retroness. And so I am really delighted about this. Wow. Well, I'm this week I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna shoot, um, a first impressions video. Obviously it's got the X-Trans 4 sensor, so we all know what it looks like, but it's just the usability and all the, some of the extra functions in it. Um, I really, really love it. Wow. Look at that. Yes. Okay. This is going to be fun. Um, I will get this reviewed quickly and get it up and running and it's going to get a lot of use because I'll use it also personally as well, because it's so small. You know, this is a perfect camera to have just around. Um, you know what, I might even buy a strap for it. How about that, to put on here? That's not something I would normally say, but my xt 4 has got a strap, and actually I've been using that a lot. So, you know, I'll go for it and get a strap for this. So here it is, love this camera. I will get it reviewed and get it up. And uh, yeah, thank you for everyone who's been helping me with, with this choice, um, because you know what? My Patreon have been brilliant. What else have we got in here just to see? So he's got here the just the cable to charge it. No charger with it. And uh, just a Fujifilm strap, which I never really use. Maybe I'll use that for a few days and then buy a, buy a strap. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your help. And uh, I'll be back very soon with the first impressions. Cool. Thanks a lot.